my name is Tracy and I'm a mortician. And I'm Trish and I'm not. And welcome to another episode of Are You Dying to Know? Because Trish is dying to know. I am. Hi guys. Hi guys. How are you going? Yeah. Oh, what have we got here? Ah, oh, well, this is a different setting and we're in a different place and uh, yeah. Today we're going to talk about rocks. Oh, rocks? <laughs> Angels? Um. What could it be? To what could it be? Today we're going to talk about urns. We are going to talk about urns and the different kinds of urns you can um, purchase for your loved ones and the, the biodegradable ones and the plant ones. They're exciting. Excellent. Okay, talk us through what have we got? Okay, okay, okay. This one first. This one. Mm, I like that one. Oh, uh, this one. Now, can you see? It's, it's very small. It does have a hole in the bottom. And it's a bit, it's got mm, funny shapes, it's got indentations in and everything. And you put the ashes in that little hole there and it gets sealed up. And what it actually is, when you place it in your hand, and I think this is a wonderful little thing for when families lose love children. A baby. Yeah, mm. I mean you can use it for adults also, but children, I think this is awful, because it's called a cuddle stone. So you can wrap it in your hand and cuddle it and hold on. And I think that's just... It's a beautiful idea, isn't, isn't it? Isn't that the wonderful idea? And actually, if you have a gotrich, you can feel how it fits in your hand. Oh, and it, really, it does. Yeah, and it's, it's molded, really, molded for your hand. Yeah, it's really, it's really lovely. And it just gives you that sense of... Yeah, it's tactile. Yeah, isn't yeah it? absolutely. So you can, you know. Obviously, if you're using that for an adult, though, you would only use some of the ashes. Yeah, and same for probably young children too, because you get a lot of ashes. Um, it's just where you put place some of the ashes. Mm -hmm. You know, in those alternatives, you can put them. You can scatter the rest of them, or you can put them in other stuff. Like for instance, if you want to separate them up, and you want the cuddle stone, you could also go for something even smaller which I think is quite beautiful, and that's jewellery. Now, there's all kinds of different jewellery you can get. This is just an example we have here at the moment. And on the other side, there is a tiny, tiny, you will hardly oh, see it there, yeah. a tiny little key lock which will unlock, and ashes will go inside of that cross. Um, wow. And that is just, just... You can wear them. Yeah. I you love can, that idea. You can wear them. And there's different shapes and sizes, and, and that's just beautiful. It's a beautiful one. So if you wanted to do separate ashes up, and you wanted the cuddle stone, you wanted a necklace, and you wanted to put the rest in a tiny little urn, you know, you could. Oh. That's just a little small, tiny little baby urn. That's small. Yeah. And it's got little teddy bears on this urn too. You know, and it. it you can get the blue ones for the boys, pink for the girls. It's very comforting, I think, for people to be able to yes. make those choices and... Absolutely. <clears throat> yeah, I think so. And do something special. I think so. Also, we have uh, the butterfly here. These are for children as well, and they come in pinks and blues and... It doesn't have to be for children, though, does it? It doesn't have to be, but I think a lot of people um, seem to uh, be drawn to this one for children. Uh, but the same again, you know, your ashes will be placed underneath it, all get sealed up. And then, you know, you, you've got your, a, a beautiful little butterfly for wherever you want to present it. To yeah, hold and, and people don't necessarily know it's an urn. So well, they just see right. that sitting on the mantelpiece yeah, or the cupboard. Yeah. And it's just beautiful. I think I like those much more than the traditional ones. They're so your traditional, which is the big urns here. Well, oh, it's heavy. Mm. It's a heavy one, yeah, so you've got your traditional urns, which is and the big ones there, which obviously, I think... <laughs> They're obviously an urn. You know, you take getting away from what they are. You know, it's just the basic lid and you put all your ashes in there and you would fit all your ashes yeah. into this urn here. So. so maybe that's a good option if people want to keep their person whole. Yeah. Keep them together. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely, and keep them together. So, I mean, it's pretty enough. It's good. It's very heavy. I mean, urns come in all kinds of shapes and sizes and colours all sorts, and, you know, all this. Yeah. So there's the options of that. This is a nice one. 
Is <sighs> this one an urn as well? That's an urn too, yeah. This one's an urn also. And that's um, uh, uh, mother and baby. Mm -hmm. You know, and actually, I think this is, in fact, I know this is the last one. They don't make these anymore. Right. So this is the very last one. So if you want to purchase this or have this and own this and keep this, you need to contact McCartney Family Funerals to put your hand on this one because there's no more being made of this one. And it's very, very special. It's very lovely. And again, the ashes will be placed underneath, sealed up. And again, you, yep. won't, you wouldn't know you wouldn't that's... Know put no. ashes in and it's another you know confident reminder of that mm. connection yeah you know so that's that one all right what's this one ah that one is called a scatter tube right yeah it's like a salt and pepper shaker yeah is it yeah. it's a scatter mm. tube okay so, yeah so it's got a perforated end on it i don't know if you can see that mm-hmm so uh, you punch that out and put the yeah, ashes yeah, in. Yeah, just make a hole in there. Your ashes, um, your ashes go inside that part. And you fill it up. You put this in. Up. You can fill that in. And then, um, oh, it's a little bit noise. <laughs> and it's called a scatter tube because obviously it, it's to scatter where you want to scatter your loved one's ashes. Hmm. And I think it's really quite nice. It's pretty, actually. isn't it? It's a, a nice box. Hmm. And also, you could probably keep them in there for a while too. I don't think they're made to last forever and ever, but um, you know, it's, it's a good one. Instead of using your big urn. What's this? What is that? Oh, what do you think that would be? It's like a present. It does look like a present. It's beautiful, um, like recycled paper. It is, yeah. And it's got it leaves set into, it's like handmade paper with the leaves that have been yeah. pressed into it. They're like pine leaves, pine mm. needles. Yeah, pine. It's quite, it is, yeah, it's real. It's all biodegradable. It's uh, specially made and designed for your ashes to fit in. And this is to actually place your ashes at sea or in the water because what happens is you, you the ashes go into the sealed part you open up there's an opening at the side at the side the ashes will go in and say you went you've got a boat and you want to go away out to sea you'll place it on and it floats just for a little bit and it floats and then it gently slowly takes the water on and it just slowly disappears into the water it, it's quite it, it's quite emotional, emotional. To actually say that it is, you know, it's really special for people that want to be, you know, buried at sea is very, very, very expensive. So this is another alternative to being, uh, you know, buried at sea by your ashes because it is expensive. Very calm and, and it, I think, I think it's a really, really good way to say, say goodbye to them. People that love the waters, the seas, the rivers, and it's all biodegradable. It will disintegrate and dissolve, and the ashes will float off and disappear. It's a lovely it's idea. Special. That is a nice idea. Okay, yeah. and what else We've have we got? got? Um, we have, this is another urn. I think, uh, similar to this one, but this one, these are angel, obviously you can see it's an angel. Again, the ashes all go into the bottom. And this is just another alternative to the regular urn. Yeah. You know, one that you can keep that people might not know what it is. And so they're really nice too, they're really lovely. But I think, um, you know, with the biodegradable one that you can uh, place the ashes at sea, is also this, I think might be my favorite. Yeah, I'm liking the look of that one. Yeah. Tell us about that one. This one. The BIOS. Is. Now, I think somebody was asking about this a while ago on one of our uh, videos and the one about this exact thing and it was from the UK. I remember they were from Northumberland if I remember and the UK was asking about this. This is just very clever. But this top bit comes out and you'll place your ashes into this big bit here. All of this. It's uh, made out of paper. It's, it's made like out of biodegradable mm -hmm. paper. So inside here is um, freeze-dried soil. It's soil that's um, been dried and it won't uh, react to anything until you water it. Oh, okay, cool. Okay. Right, yep. So you've got your ashes in here. Yep. You go and buy whatever seeds you want to plant in here, be it a tree yep. or a plant. Yep. 
and you plant it in there and you water it. The good thing about this is you can either put it in to uh, another be, pot, uh, another pot, yeah, because this will biodegrade. Yep, and then so you'll, you'll just be left with a tree and ashes in a pot. Yeah, and you've got your, so you've got a little plant, or you can plant in the garden with right. a big tree. Yep, where you put the um, seedlings in there, put the whole thing underground. You dig the hole big enough for this, and then you water it, and the plant will grow. Oh, isn't that there. lovely idea? And it's all biodegradable. I like so, that idea. It is just I like how on the back of it it's got a picture of a person. Oh, it has to. <laughs> just to show you that people are recyclable. Yeah, yeah, it has to. It's got a recyclable sign on that. On the head. On the head. Just there show you. Go. I'll just show you that in case you can't yeah. see it. So that's a really cool idea. I Obviously mean, they've already been cremated to do this. Oh, absolutely. So maybe yeah. it's not as eco-friendly as some of the other options that are sort of high-tech and oh, available yeah. these um, days. I think uh, this company also does, um, which we, um, I'm not sure if that's happening here now, so I can't really um, comment on it because um, I don't know the information. But I think it is where eventually you can, the body can be put in a pod yeah. and buried underground. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you can Google that. It's on Google a company, find out. You'll find out all the information there. As I say, I don't have that information, so I don't know. They're really cool. I really but like they are them. Cool in that, I think it's the way of um, the future, a lot of that. So. so just tell me when you have, say, an average sized person cremated, how much ashes do you get? How, um, how big are they? They will fill that. Fill that, mm -hmm. yeah. So um, the amount of ashes you see when we get the um, adult regular standard size deceased back, uh, they come in these boxes. Right. And they fill these boxes. Okay. And we just cut the hole in these boxes to transfer the ashes into oh, what yeah. urns they want. We'll, we'll do that for uh, the families. Yep. Or they can take the ashes home and do it themselves. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll fill that urn up uh, to the top probably. Wow. But that's it. There's lots of things to think about um, if somebody wants to be cremated. You've got lots mm. of options, obviously. You have. Yeah, you've got lots of I options. I really like this one. I think that's really sweet. That is beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Especially husband and wife, yeah, that sort of thing. Absolutely. Wouldn't it be lovely? Yeah. But I still like my Cuddlestone. Yeah, Cuddlestone's good too. Oh. Just... All right, guys. So yeah. thank you, Trace, again thank for you. an interesting insight into something that we might not have known about. Yes. You can also put your ashes into a firework. And shoot you into the sky. Shoot you into the sky. Wow. Can we do that here in Australia? Uh, yes. Oh, wow. Yes. That's cool too. Yes, we can. We have the information on Netflix for that. You can Google that also. It's out there in the Google World Land to see that you can actually... Do that and we can arrange that um, from here too. So yeah, yeah, you could do that. I guess it's personal uh, preference as to whether you want to keep someone close or yeah. let them yeah. go out into the world. Somebody might want that big bang and go, there you go, I want to leave, you know, I want to make, you know, this is my final hooray and I, yeah. there you go. So yeah, but there's a lot of options. Different options for different personalities. Yeah, absolutely, you know, but yeah, the cuddlestone. Okay, Trace. Till next time, please Thanks like this guys. video if you like this yeah. video. Subscribe yeah. to our channel. Yeah. Uh, and um, what have we got coming up? Oh. Oh, we've got a few interesting things coming yes. up, but we need your questions. Oh yeah, and we've had a, oh, and we've had some amazing feedback. I just want to say thanks, guys. Oh, it, it, some lovely, lovely comments and some really, 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 really great comments. And I just, um, I think um, I would like to say, Anthony Johnson, hi. <laughs> She's just trying to make you fall off your chair again, Anthony. Sorry. <laughs> anyway. All right, till next time, guys. Take care. Thanks for Bye. watching. See ya.